Caps are baby teeth. Caps are the deciduous teeth that occur on all the incisors. Those are the snipper teeth right up front underneath the lips. And the, and the first three cheek teeth on the top and bottom on both sides. So that's 12 more teeth that are in the back. And what happens at a certain time in the horse's life, somewhere between two and a half and four and a half years of age, the permanent tooth, which is driving itself up like this, is underneath a cap, just like the cap on top of your head. And as it grows, it jettisons that cap um, off in a, in a specific manner. We can also age a horse uh, pretty accurately by the, these events. And they usually occur at almost the same time universally in a geographical area. In other words, I'll, I'll, I know that in early autumn, I'll be out at the thoroughbred track and I better bring a big Slurpee cup with me to put all the caps in uh, because I'll have a whole bucket full by the time I'm gone, where other times I go in and, and nobody has any caps, which is kind of interesting. But anyway, uh, caps are removed easily with a set of forceps that uh, extract them, but on occasion, some of those caps, you know how I said that sitting on here, see where my fingers are? I won't call them roots, but they're attachments that keep that cap on so the horse can keep chewing. And sometimes those cap uh, breaks, those little tabs break off, and I call them cap remnants. And it's like a kernel of popcorn stuck between your gum and your tooth. And some horses are sitting there with their tongue trying to get that thing out of there. And all you have to do is dig it out, um, and the horse is, is relieved. Uh, if they're not dug out, they can be a, a place where um, a horse can get infection. And I think a lot of the peri pockets that we see in older horses are actually uh, calf remnants that have been stuck in there and not removed and, and cause a, um, an infection, kind of like a splinter underneath your skin. So during calf removal, you want to make sure you don't break those off. But oftentimes, the calf is removed by the horse just in his normal daily living and a, a segment will break off and you got to be careful <clears throat> to look for those and that's why i think um a visual palpation of the a visual inspection of the mouth often misses these things whereas the digital palpation can pick these things up very easily you can either feel the chunk of tooth or it's sensitive and the horse uh, reacts to your finger touch or you bring your fingers out and there's a bad odor and that indicates that you've got something cooking in there so that's what caps are and they come off between two and a half and four and a half years of age um, and there's 24 of them so uh, often seen the first teeth right there oh my god doc my horse has been kicked and you go out there and you extract the caps and everything's just hunky-dory uh, there's a lot more to caps but uh, that's basically it there